the start for Pittsburgh in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? You hear that phrase, a pitcher's best friend is the ground ball double play? Not in Tyler Anderson's case. His best friend is the straight changeup. He's not going to blow you away with the radar gun. Low Leading 90s fastball, but a really good changeup. If Colton. he has the changeup, expect Wong. him to be around a long time in this one. Colton Wong is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. First pitch, 7.07. The windup and the 0-1. Oh, that's inside. Game time temperature tonight, a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. The 1-1. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Hit out towards second, reined in. And he's retired one away. Batting second. With that, right here's field. a look at the Brewers' starting Let's lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Yeah, Matt, I think everyone should keep an eye on Colton Wong. He's got a batting average of over 400 with runners in scoring position coming into this one. I love watching him in those situations because he gets really dialed in. Hopefully, we get to see some of that today. And here's Christian Yelich now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Five homers and 23 driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. And there's the second out as he squeezes it in the coach's box. Batting third, the catcher, Omar Narvaez. Next up is Omar Narvaez. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. First delivery to him. As he'll take a nope. look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Polanco to the track. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. Wow, it looked like he was carrying a piano around the bases on the that one. But somehow he makes it all the way around the third for a triple. Okay. Give credit where credit is due. Nobody in the park, including me, thought he had that in him. And in to hit next is Lorenzo Kane. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. He set the 0 1. And they'll escape danger here after the two out triple as the inning is over. No damage done after the two out triple. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Brandon Woodruff, a Mississippi native, will be on the mound in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Now into the box, Adam Frazier. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here we go. For the Pirates, 
the second baseman, Adam. Here's Winter. the pitch. Grounded back up the middle. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. The catcher. Nice effort Good by the job. shortstop right there. Kept it in front Go of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Jacob Stallings is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Swung on and missed one and one. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Catch made out there by Wong, and that's your first out. Batting third, the left fielder. Now a moment here at PNC oh, yeah. to take a look at the Pirates lineup card in this one. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? This team does it a little bit different, Matty. They're not going to drive the ball out of the ballpark. They are dead last in home runs. Usually a bad sign. But they can score in a variety of different ways. They got guys with great approaches, and they try and move and manufacture runs as well as they can. Be on the lookout for the little things today. Brian Reynolds is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. And that's into the corner a foul ball and right. Frazier leads off first with one away. Again he sends it out of play. Here's the 0 and 2. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got no there, shortstop. it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much Good you can do with that pitch. Ahead. And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Oh one count here's the pitch. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle cannot be late on that fastball. Here comes the nothing and two pitch inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit one and two pretty good pitch right there fastball in off the plate one of the things you want to do as a pitcher try to stand those hitters up hoping to send him packing pitch on its way well two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to here now the two two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And another foul ball.
taken the other way but this should be routine out there in right field. Yelich is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. One left for Pittsburgh still no score. All set for the start of the inning and that brings up the left handed hitter Travis Shaw. Travis Shaw. First pitch on its way. Ball, the 1 0 home is that off the plate down. up and away. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. 2 and 1. Into the windup and the pitch. Hey. Daniel Vogelback will be next. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle and that's a base hit so the pressure's on to open up the inning. I mean that had to feel amazing right there. I know it's only a single but when you're walking to the plate and you're not even hitting your weight to see that that average go up had to put a smile on his face. Daniel Vogel backs next. This will show bunt but pull it back for ball one and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now a bunt attempt here Newman is there and he makes the catch for the out and they'll put the tag on him heading back to first it's a double play. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. No score here as we play inning number two. Pulled toward right center field, giving chase is offered. He gets there to make the play and that ends the inning. Brewers go down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And now here is Colin Moran. And as you can see he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. A ball and a strike. One one. And a change up swung on and missed for the first down. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's right going to be fine. In that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. Here's Gregory Polanco. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0 and 1. Here's a guy who could use a 3 for 4. He's got that batting average still down in the 190s. Nine homers and 23 driven in. And 
And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Gregory Matic Polanco seven. becomes no, out two. number two this Anthony. inning. Alford. Into the box, Anthony Alford. Popped up. Narvaez is there, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Pirates. We'll move to the third with no score. So here is Avisayo Garcia as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Popped him up. Stallings over to his left. He's got it one away. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop up to start the inning. Now to bat, Brandon Woodruff. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And the three one. And he lays off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. Now batting. The second baseman. Colton. And now in the box, Colton Wong. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. A swing, and he pulls it down the line and deep. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And not in time as the run scores. Well, there's one way to get our first run of the game across. Good hustle there on an RBI triple, and they're in good shape to possibly make it 2 0 with another base hit here. In is Christian Yelich. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Wong stands at third with one gone in the inning. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. A one one. A bullet to first base, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Up next to Milwaukee, the catcher, Omar Narvaez. In now, Narvaez. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone.
Here's the 1 0. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Polanco has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. But they do get on the board in the inning on this run scoring triple. We played two and a half. It's now 1 0 Milwaukee. We're back now as the Pirates lineup readies for their third turn with the bats. And unfortunately for them, this club has had their issues on offense. At the start of the day, they find themselves as one of the worst teams in the league in hitting the long ball and scoring runs. I talked to one player before the game that told me he thinks things have sort of snowballed on them this year. They didn't get off to a good start, and since then, most everyone has simply been searching for answers and trying to do too much. He admitted it's been a frustrating year, but they have to keep pushing forward and looking for better ways to generate offense. Back to you guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. First pitch coming, here it is. As he hits one on a line to left field. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Hey, nice A-B right there. With the pitcher coming to the plate, that your is job is to get on in the front pitcher. of him. This should be interesting. Tyler. Does he get the bunt Andrew sign? Said. Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? See what happens. Into the box now, Tyler Anderson. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. There's one, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Now back. Ah, he got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. A 1 1 count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Now a swinging bunt. The one two is taken for ball two. Runners on first with one down. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Ready with another 2 2. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3 2 count, you send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Once again, a 3 2. Now a chopper to first, might only get one. He's got it to second for one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play, and the inning is over. One hit in the inning, but no one left. On now to the top of inning number four. The Brewers lead it one to nothing. In now is Lorenzo Kane. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0 and 2. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Oh, 
fouled away. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. The 0-2 once more is looked at for ball one. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. What I like about that strikeout guys is that he came back with a fastball on two and two. He was heading to count 0 and two earlier but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff. And that brings up the left handed hitting Travis Shaw right side but it's well foul a base hit in his first trip. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Shaw could find himself a member of the All Star squad this year. He's had a nice season, currently second in fan votes at third base. Yeah, and he's been having an excellent season to date, making a push towards that All Star game. Hey, fans, get out there and vote. This guy sits in second place, but I'm sure he'd like to be named starter. The 1 2 is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Outside in a full count three and two. Daniel Vogelback is on deck. Now the three and two pitch. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitches second time through the order and we just saw three in a row. And that misses for ball four. Well, he battled to get it to a 3 2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. And stepping in, Daniel Vogelback. He's set, now the pitch. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting, the left fielder, Billy. Two out, runner in scoring position at second, and in to hit next, the speedy Billy McKinney. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Shaw at second with two down. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. One and one the pitch. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. Out of the stretch, the three one home. Strike two is the fastball is let go. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. 
payoff pitch on its way. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. First delivery to him. Avisail Garcia is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1 0. Oh. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Now here's a swing and a ground ball for Frazier at second. On to first, and the Brewers are turned away as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. More ahead from the North Shore right after this. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and now it'll be the catcher, Jacob Stallings. The catcher, Jacob Stallings. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball and a strike now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. And it's one and two. Fouled off. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And that's in there. Base hit. He's been called. Batting average fell below 230, now but that batting. knock might have put him in a positive frame of mind. Oh, yeah. Hopefully that's the start of something big. So now it's Brian Reynolds. He swings and grounds it to short. Wrong for one. On to first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings. And there are two away now. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Eric Gonzalez. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond. But now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. First pitch of the A.B. now. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Dan, yeah, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. Now, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits. But hopefully he can minimize the damage here. Stepping in now, Colin Moran. The swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. And Wong will make the catch to retire the side. Pirates leave one. They still trail one nothing. Now at the plate here is Brandon Woodruff. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Brandon Woodruff. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He can't get there as it falls in. 
Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. That misses 2 and 0. Two balls and a strike. Hits are now even at four apiece. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Polanco giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batting right fielder. So one gone in the Milwaukee fifth and up next the sweet swing and left handed hitting outfielder Christian Yelich. First pitch on the way. Oh, 1 here's the pitch. Good change up there as he takes command 0 and 2. After falling down 0 2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. <laughs> 1 and 2 for Christian Yelich. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Woodruff, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. To two balls and two strikes now. And it's fouled away. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away runner on first in a double play situation so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone so I think that pitch up right there was a good one obviously the double play is more efficient but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound to the plate now Omar Narvaez he gets it hard on the ground to the left oh a diving stop touche sir. Milwaukee leaves one, but they hold a one nothing lead. And welcome back to Pittsburgh as we check in on the field with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Derek Shelton during the commercial break about the Pirates offense, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. Go. Good Pirates. stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The right fielder. Gregory. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. The 1-1. One, one. Count is two and one. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. 
any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Three balls and a strike to Gregory Polanco. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. 3 1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3 and 2. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North South. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the East West we came up playing. McKinney, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. The center fielder, number six, Anthony Alford. So now here is Anthony Alford. Popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. And he fouls this one off. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Skied into very shallow right. Yelich is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting, first baseman, Chavez. Newman. Next to stand in is Kevin Newman. He singled first time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets oh, hot. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Trying to check his swing there, but did he go around? He did, says Kenny Jansen at first. Strike one. 1-1. One, one. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. Bases are empty here with two men out. Full count three and two. Hey offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him and they've got themselves a two out base runner. That walk is going to feel a little extra no frustrating pitcher. for this pitcher. Not only do you never Tyler. really want to walk the number eight Andrew hitter, said. but it's also going to let the pitcher hit this inning instead of forcing him to lead off the next one. First pitch on its way. Owen won the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Pirates pitcher at the plate with a one and two count. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One left for Pittsburgh. They trail this one one to nothing. Now to the plate Lorenzo Kane do up are the four five and six hitters and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. First pitch on its way. Hey. He'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0 0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0 1 than 1 0. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball 1 and 1. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. Two 
On its way is pitch number 75. Fouled away. Here now the 2 2. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Fouled off. The 3 2 one more time. And it's fouled away. Bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting the third baseman, Travis Shaw. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. One run, four hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the one, two in off the plate lifted down the line and left and that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double hey this is what every hitting coach teaches when you start playing baseball don't try to do more than you can hit the ball where it's pitched and he does a great job right there as he pushes it down the line nicely and it bounces over for a ground rule double at the plate Daniel Vogelback as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 Vogelback 28 years old this is his sixth season for him in the big leagues barely able to make contact down 0 and 2 now. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Tough one to call there, but it's ruled just above the zone. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out, but other times you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Standing in now, Billy McKinney. Now a ball softly hit and foul off to the left, strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ready with the 0 and 1. We've seen this before fastballs in then breaking balls away that's been his plan of attack throughout the first half of this game. Shaw stands at second with two gone. Good fastball down around the knees there taken for a strike. 
Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep them out of danger. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. So here's Adam Frazier, one for two in the ball game thus far. For the Pirates, the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Here's the first pitch. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. Skied into very shallow right. Yelich able to take this one in, and there's your first out. Now batting, the catcher, Jacob Stalling. So stepping in is Jacob Stallings hopped out and singled in his two trips to the plate ready to deal here comes the first pitch down the first baseline fielded cleanly and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out the left fielder number 10 Brian digging in next Brian Reynolds he was a double play victim last time around. Yeah rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least so you know he wants to make up for it right here. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. No runs four hits and no errors so far for the Pirates. Nope. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. McKinney giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Pirates. It remains one nothing. Luis Oviedo is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. So here's Abisayu Garcia. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now here's the first offering. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Late one ball, one strike. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. He's got it. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. The pick number 53. Brandon. In now, Brandon Woodruff, as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. It was a base hit last time up. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. The second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. The back. Uh, he got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Colton Wong will stand in as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point.
the 1 0. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, 1 and 1. From the belt, the pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Woodruff stands at first with one out. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up, and no one can get there. It's a foul ball. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. in front of that one may have been looking fastball good job just to make contact runner at first here one man out fouled away a little bouncer Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Just hung in there on that one. Hey, five foul balls in a row, loving the battle in the box right here, making the pitcher work. Swing and a liner. So this is going to land foul, so they'll tee it up again, three and two. A payoff pitch one more time. Grounded to short. Reined in to Frazier at the bag. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. None left for Milwaukee, but they're on top one to nothing. Now it'll be Eric Gonzalez. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. No, you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just north of 95 plus stuff diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams' bullpens. Change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one. The pitch. Swing and a line drive. And that will be a base hit. So right away, the possible time run is aboard to start the bottom of the seventh. Many guys fall victim to the breaking ball and want to get out in front of it and they end up rolling it over to the pull side. Batter was able to execute, stay inside, keep his hands back and drive it the other way. At the plate now, Colin Moran fouled off. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Wow, this guy has been on top of it today, pushing the throttle and pulling it when he needs to. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. There's a line drive, and that's going to get down. And now, how far will they send that man from first? And the run will score all the way from first. 
You know, D. Rowe, in today's game, it's not easy no, scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. So now to the plate, Gregory Polanco, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Donnie likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. Payoff pitch home. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. The center fielder, number six. Anthony. Now the Brewers manager's up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll leave with a couple of runners aboard that are his responsibility, meaning he'd be happy to get out of here with a no decision. Brad Boxberger comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Anthony Alford will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. He's ready now the pitch as he'll take a look at ball one in today's game if they're going to give you an out you take it you have to find a way to execute a pitch in the zone allow him to get the bunt down and take the out at first. The 1 0 home squaring to bunt but this is a foul ball none out runners at first and second. One attempt, but this one might have too much on it. Wrong for one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Now back, the first baseman. So the next to bat will be Kevin Newman. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the first pitch in there for strike one zero oh and one runners are at the corners with one man out runners blaking for the plate on the bunt attempt is popped up so they get the out at first but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. So a gutsy call the there as that takes some serious stones to call the suicide squeeze this late in the game but the go ahead run comes in to score.
Wilmer Defoe who looked to provide a little two out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Looking to keep this a one run game the pitch batting left handed here as he takes a look at strike one he comes in with that average down in the 240s one home run and six RBIs. He set the 0 1. One and one. Alford at second with two down. He tried to get that one airborne, but it's one and two. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. Count even at two and two. Here's the two and two swing and a miss for strike three pulled the string on him that time and the inning is over so it's two runs on two hits no errors in a runner left we'll look ahead to inning number eight now it's the Pirates two and the Brewers one start of the eighth on its way but first Heidi Watney standing by with this report. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with the big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Sam Howard has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the veteran outfielder Christian Yelich. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Ready with the 1-0. -oh. That's it. Ball two. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 and oh doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field. And you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as we are all knotted up at two. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Into the box now. Omar Narvaez. And it's fouled away. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the 0 1. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it.
Here comes the one two. Turned on down the line. And a reach but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. The throw into second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Well he was definitely struggling coming into this one but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. So next to hit is Lorenzo Cain. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. First pitch on its way as he can't make contact and is tied up here at strike one. I'll tell you he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings and that one completely tied him up. Set up away with the changeup but it's one and one. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now you want to try to hit that outside corner and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. And here's a slider for a cold strike and he's behind one and two now. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. And a full count to Kane. Three balls and two strikes. Crowd gets up for the three two. Sharp ground ball to third. Throws in time and that's at number one. Now back. Third base. Travis. Next for Milwaukee, Travis Shaw. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at bat to watch. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. With too much tilt on that breaking ball as it misses low. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him one and two. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone you got to find a way to regroup adjust the batting gloves only look over the hard of those 17 inches. One and two here it comes and he fouls this one off. Count still at one and two. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Back to the fastball but it's upstairs two balls and two strikes now. And this will be fouled away. Again, another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. 
He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Count remains full. The payoff pitch one more time. Ball four as this one gets away a bit. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3 2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Michael Feliz takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Jackie Bradley Jr. will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Daniel Vogelback will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. From the stretch. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. Here comes the 0 1. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's 2-1. and one. That's a good job right there. Very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves over to third now. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Digging in now for the Brewers, Billy McKinney. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here's the first pitch. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation. So you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Oh, one pitch on its way. At the ball. One oh. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. The one-two. Swing and a fly ball. This ought to at least get the go-ahead run in. The catch is made. Here comes the go-ahead run for the plate. And a relay home. He's in there at the plate. And they've taken the lead here in the eighth. Hey, putting together good at-bats late in the games can really help out. And how about this sack fly right here? Good at-bat that leads to his team getting the lead here in the late innings. 
Next to hit is Avisail Garcia. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Here's the first pitch to him. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. That evens it up one and one. Bradley on second. Vogelback on at first with two down. Swing and he launches this one to deep left field. Reynolds is on the move for it. Still going back. Gone! So a three run blast to straight away left. Home run number 16 for him on the year as they open it up to six to two now. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Keston here will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Keston here. First pitch of the A.B. on its way as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's got that batting average even at a point where even a one for five will gain him some points. Four home runs and 14 driven in. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 and 0. Oh. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there as a reliever you can't let that happen nothing you can do about what's already happened and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box the 2 0 on the way finds the zone strike one that pitch looked like it could have been a little high but he's been calling that pitch all night kind of rough for a pinch hitter but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been now the 2 1. It's the outside corner for the second strike. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Brewers lead this one six to two. Eric Yardley is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Luis Urias has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that brings up Adam Frazier. The second baseman, Adam Frazier. First offering on its way. And a ball 1 0. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at 1 and 1. That's the heavy sinker right there. He has the ability to get ground balls when he needs them, potential double play situations, or to get that jam job with no one on base, that tapper right back to the pitcher. One of the toughest pitches to hit in the game. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. Now that the catcher, Jacob. Next to hit, Jacob Stallings. He grounded out last time up. First delivery to him. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1 0. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to 1 and 1.
Hit on the ground out to short. And that's the second out. The left fielder, number 10, Ryan. Now to the plate, here is Ryan Reynolds. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. First pitch of the A.B. now. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Throw the first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Pirates. They still trail here. It's six to two. David Bednar enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. The second baseman, Colton. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Ready with the nothing in one pitch to short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, right fielder, Christian Yelich. And now, Christian Yelich blasted a solo homer last time up. That last at bat, Matty B, a changeup right down the middle of the plate. Listen, this guy's got a great changeup, but he can't afford to keep throwing it middle, middle like he did that last at bat. If he does, this guy might be hitting back to back jacks. Bednar features one of the biggest yackers in the game. Curveball's got a ton of movement. There's a bouncer foul to the left of the plate. One and one. One out, nobody on. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Center fielder going back to the track, to the wall. And it's gone as they add still another. It's a solo home run for Christian Yelich. His second of the game, and the lead is now 7-2. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. To the plate now, Narvaez, as the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. One oh home swing and a liner and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit the center field number six Lorenzo King. stepping in now Lorenzo King. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. In the dirt. Right on the money, and he's cut down trying to take second base.
Here comes the one two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Two two pitches fouled away. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 2 2 one more time is in there, a called strike three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Last chance coming up for the Pirates. It's the Brewers 7 and the Pirates 2. Stepping up is Eric Gonzalez. So far, 2 for 3 in this one. Eric Gonzalez. First offering. And she'll come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. His pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. Lifted down the line and left. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, we've seen some really good now pitching from these guys in this one. Baseman. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort Four turned man. in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Standing in now, Colin Moran, as he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1 0. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0. Doesn't catch the outside corner, it's a ball. The 2 0. Is swung on and missed, strike one. Here's a swing and oh man way out of here a solo shot here to straight away right field home run number five on the year as it's now a 7 three game. Certainly a tape measure shot there as we take a look at it with our show track technology. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity, so it comes as no surprise that it carried as far as it did. Now back, right fielder, Gregory. At the plate now, Gregory Polanco. And so watch a sinker here that misses its ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing and he's down one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one. A 
Again, a one two. Bases are empty, one man out. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Now here's the pitch. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. One out, nobody on. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Get the ball for this man. He needs to put that on the mantle. He's been struggling. The season hasn't gone according to plan, but he's staying pot committed and grinded out a nice knock. Into the box, Anthony Alford, as he sends it on the ground to first. A dive, and he knocks it down. And the recovery throw is too late, and there are two on with one away now. Josh Hader takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Next to dig in, Kevin Newman. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Set. Here's the 0-1. One one I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. The 1-1 one -one. takes a pitch for strike number two. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. That's two and two. Cool. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. No Pulled the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. Michael Perez will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hitting for the Pirates, number five. And now the first pitch. Getting on base, a big problem as you see the average there. Five homers and 11 RBIs. Oh, one, here's the pitch. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two 
two balls and a strike. Here it is. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just the one run will be allowed to score. Really unfortunate there. Obviously, the runner at second base was going to score easily, but it's possible they could have waved the runner around from first as well. We'll never know, though, as he's forced to hold the runner at third because of the ground rule double. Adding order turn set to green. That's the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it. So he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Sends that one out of play for strike one. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. He set the 0 1. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 7-4 to four is the final score in tonight's game. The Milwaukee Brewers came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Brad Boxberger wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.